it gives me immense pleasure to welcome each one of you to another major milestone in the history of Reliance Communications. My father and our founder, the legendary Dhirubhai Ambani, first unveiled his vision about the power and potential of connectivity in India and how it could transform the lives of millions of Indians. The launch of our nationwide CDMA services in May 2003 by Reliance marked a turning point and changed the rules of the telecom game forever. It was the start of a journey that would revolutionize the way India communicates with itself and the world. Today, Reliance Communication is India's largest integrated and fully converged communication service provider, and we serve over 60 million customers on a worldwide basis. Today, we dedicate ourselves to Sri Dhirubhai Ambani's vision, once again, of accelerating the transformation of the Indian telecommunications industry by now offering a nationwide enhanced GSM service in addition to our number one nationwide CDMA service. Our nationwide GSM rollout has been a very large project wherein Reliance has once again proven its execution skills. We received GSM Spectrum only in January this year, that is less than 11 months ago. Since then, our network rollout has been completed and more than 11,000 towns and 340,000 villages will be part of our GSM offerings to begin with. Despite this enormous scale, we are at least six months ahead of schedule. To put things in perspective, what other operators have taken to complete, in 15 years, we are completing in less than 15 months. This massive GSM rollout marks the completion of our over 10,000 crores worth of investment program. Our GSM network deploys the latest generation electronics, which will offer customers the highest quality digital voice. We are the first nationwide enhanced edge network, a technology that will offer the fastest internet access speeds available to Indians. Through our global partnership on both GSM and CDMA, our customers will be able to roam internationally to more than 200 countries on more networks at attractive rates. In summary, our number one CDMA network will now be supported by India's world-class GSM network. With this, Indians will have the unique proposition of being able to choose between two nationwide world-class networks and have access to the largest handset range available of any operator in India of over 300 different handsets. I now invite our president, Mr. Shukla, of our wireless business to make a brief presentation. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ambani. And very good afternoon to ladies and gentlemen. I will take you briefly through the journey which Reliance Communication has undertaken in last few years. As you all know, 
and most of you have perhaps covered it. When we launched CDMA National Service in India, we completely redefined the telecom game. Our all the five parameters which one monitors in this sector, whether it was call rates, whether the very concept of roaming, handsets, the way they were sold, the explosive growth in subscriber base, and community formation. Let's talk about call rates. When Reliance entered CDMA space in 2003, call rates used to vary between 3 and 4 rupees. Reliance came out with famous 40 paisa offer. In the same way, roaming was so expensive that if you were outside your home state and somebody called you, you actually looked at the number before taking the call or not taking the call. Before making a call while roaming, people looked at the watch. Ki how much should I speak? And about handsets, the less said the better. Handsets were prohibitively expensive. So many people in India were waiting that when handset prices come down, I will also have a mobile phone. I'm sure all of you remember our 501 Hangama, which really took mobility to masses. Entry of Reliance in May 2003 through CDMA was the inflection point after which mobility sector never looked back. From 2 lakh customer additions a month, that was the first month when India did 10 lakh connections. And as I said, never looked back. Today we are at 1 crore new mobile connections every month in India. Community formation was another unique concept Reliance brought about. On net calling between two Reliance customers, either made free or at negligible prices, made it possible for whole families to go mobile and not to have one mobile in one family. Actually, every member of the family could talk about, think about, and actually own a mobile phone. As a result of these initiatives, we became number one in all the four segments. Reliance pioneered the concept of a wireless PCO. We took PCOs where wireline did not reach. We nurtured this segment, developed this segment, and we continue to be India's largest private sector PCO operator. We brought in fixed wireless phones to telecoms.